it's me and I've mentioned this before but I've got some pretty dope neighbors. Every holiday season we exchange gifts and this time around I got my Christmas gift a little bit early. Thanks to one of my neighbors who goes out almost every weekend and catches treasures from the sea. Here's what I got. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you see this? This is about a 22, 25 pound Mahi Mahi. So for those of you who've only seen Mahi Mahi in the frozen section of your grocery store, this is what it looks like live and up close. Well, almost live and up close. This is about 12 hours out of the water. So today I'm gonna break this baby down and make a few recipes from my book, Going Coastal. Ready? Okay, let's get started. So beautiful. <laughs> Okay guys, we are making mahi-mahi recipes from my book, Going Coastal. So let's talk about our fish, mahi-mahi. It goes by a couple different names, mahi-mahi, dorado, and dolphin fish. Now mahi-mahi means strong, strong in Polynesian, and that's for a really good reason. That's because these guys are fighters in the open water. If you've ever caught a dorado or a yellowtail, you know what I'm talking about. They'll give you a good workout. It's actually really fun and a lot of excitement. So the flavor of these guys is pretty distinct and really delicious. The meat is firm and tender when you cook it properly. The one thing you need to be mindful of is you gotta remove the bloodline. That's true for several other species of fish, but uh, mahi-mahi in particular. If you don't remove the bloodline, you're gonna get a really gamey piece of fish. This has happened to me on several occasions when I was a novice at breaking down fish. Uh, I had this experience with shark and also mahi-mahi. So please take my advice, remove the bloodline. You'll know it when you see it. So this is either gonna be when you buy it in the market or when you break something down like we're doing today. Just take it out. So one of the most beautiful things about Mahi Mahi is that it's so versatile. You can make some really fancy recipes, and I have a few in the book that come from Spain and the Mediterranean, but there are also some really practical uh, ways to make this. I'm doing a fish burger, fish and chips, tacos, sashimi, crudo, or poke. You guys, Mahi Mahi is truly delicious. All right guys, full transparency, I'm not a fishmonger. You know this, I cook and I like to entertain and I like to give you really great recipes. Going into the office every day to break down fish is not something that I do. My comfort level are small fish between four to five pounds and I am an expert at it. Actually a little bit graceful if I might say so myself. <laughs> but these big guys like I'm working with today, I've done them before, but uh, it's a little bit challenging and that's part of the fun. So today I'm challenging myself to get this fish broken down to really beautiful fillets and use them as part of our recipe for today. So let's get started. All right, let's start filleting our fish. Now the one thing I want you to know, which is probably something you're gonna comment on anyway, is that my knife is a little bit small for this size fish. I mentioned earlier that I'm accustomed to smaller fish and my knife represents that. But don't worry, I'll still get the job done. Okay, let's start by making a small slit at the top of the head of the fish and work our way all the way down. We're going to use our finger to separate the flesh from the bone, being very careful until we get all the way down. We're going to come back up, go down the back, and then we're going to have a really beautiful fillet. We're going to do that to the other side of the fish and have an equally beautiful fillet. We're going to turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. We're cleaning this fish up by removing the bloodline and eventually removing the skin. So here's what I want to mention. You're going to find Mahi Mahi in the market 99.9% .9 of the time frozen. Outside of that, you're going to find it with the skin on or the skin off. The one thing you need to know is that the skin of Mahi Mahi, like other fish, is inedible. You can't eat the skin of mahi-mahi. It won't crisp up like salmon skin. It won't get delicious. You're gonna remove it before you cook it or during the eating process where you sort of eat your meal and scooch it over to the side. I prefer removing it prior to cooking. Okay, our fish looks great. I've prepared it in three different ways that I think are practical and a little bit posh in some ways. The first way is a grilled mahi-mahi burger. Who doesn't like a grilled fish burger? It's delicious, it's beautiful, you can dress it up or dress it down. 
The other way that I've prepared it is one of the most popular, fish tacos. Really fantastic flavors from Central America, uh, tossed in a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of citrus, tucked into a taco with your favorite toppings. You can't beat that. The next is a raw recipe. It's crudo, really simply dressed, a little bit of lime juice, some serrano pepper, a little bit of avocado oil. It's perfection, you guys. I'm gonna choose my favorite, which is gonna be the crudo, because that's just where I am right now in my life, <laughs> and I love it. It's fantastic. You guys, regardless of whether you uh, break down your own mahi-mahi or purchase it in the store, please find this fish use it, it's delicious, and uh, have fun. I'll see you next time. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do yourselves a favor, pick up my book Going Coastal. The digital version is currently only five bucks on Amazon. Treat yourself and make some really good seafood. I'll see you next time. Oh boy. <laughs>